Everybody worships. My very first all-nighter was not brought on by a pressing due date or an academic mission of any sort. I was not poised, dead-eyed at the keyboard, pumped full of caffeine, and prepared to frantically pound out a few thousand words. No, the hours slipped away gently, by accident. I think it started with a simple Google Images search, minimalism. One click gave way to another, and soon the sun reared its shiny head, smirking at me from its glaring reflection on my screen. The whole night through, I was thrilled with each new find, from Polaroid cameras to minimalist clothing and ho like home decor. I was fostering my newfound obsession with certain clothing, with cameras, with a melange of luxurious objects. I was overjoyed at the mere fact that I was so enraptured with the discovery of these items. My night was marked by the most intense focus. You know, I'd never thought myself the religious type, never wanted to put my whole soul into something greater than myself. But in all reality, everybody worships. In the words of the late David Foster Wallace, there is actually no such thing as atheism. There is no such thing as not worshiping. Everybody worships. The only choice we get is what to worship. And the compelling reason for maybe choosing some sort of god or spiritual type thing to worship, be it JC or Allah, be it YHWH or the Wicked Mother Goddess or the Four Noble Truths or some inviolable set of ethical principles, is that pretty much anything else you worship will eat you alive. Looking back, I can pinpoint many occasions where I spent a good deal of time worshiping material things. It's so easy, so simple for companies nowadays to spawn an obsession with the materials they are advertising especially with the rise, the reign of social media. Take the new Calvin Klein campaign, for example. When they came across the hashtag MyCalvins and started browsing through endless photos of, of beautiful, beautiful people just luxuriously lounging in their Calvin Kleins, I was hooked. I mean immediately. Images of my future cool self in Calvin Klein bounded through my brain like quick fire. A subconscious attachment to the idea that what you own makes you who you are. I thought that by buying the brand, I would buy myself the confidence, the coolness the models seemed to exude. It pains me to say so, but I spent hours thinking about a set of brand name underwear that was in all likelihood probably made in China. So many things are not as luxurious as we like to think they are. All that time spent worshiping a couple of pieces of fabric I thought would make me cool somehow. Good advertisements that manage to target your insecurity specifically Create this obsession that gnaws at you until you give in and buy the damn, the darn thing already. Unless you manage to redirect your passion into another field, that checkout button is really the only outlet for your energy. This is what good marketing does to you. This is what it looks like to worship material. At the very root, it's an insecurity, a desire to attain a certain quality or characteristic and or acceptance into a certain group. You see a gorgeous model and you want to be one of them. So you track the brand, spend hours, transfixed on the images of your future self. And now the fire is planted and the obsession grows. A ruthless passion that ultimately leads nowhere. But our collective ruthless passion can sometimes have disastrous results. You see, some of the brands that we associate with desirable identities, like Nike, Puma, Gap, even the NFL and NBA, have been associated with child labor in the developing world. Abercrombie and Hollister have come under fire for marketing inappropriate clothing, like a push-up bikini top to girls as young as seven. Not to mention that Abercrombie's CEO was quoted saying that his company's clothes weren't for fat and uncool kids. We can ask for better from our brands. So ask yourself, before you buy that purse, or slip that shirt over your head, or put those shoes on in the morning, what do you want to sell? <laughs>